Greetings from Naveda Healthcare Center. This is Dr. Pankaj Aneja. So friends, today we are here to talk something about cholesterol. Day and night we hear about cholesterol, that cholesterol is bad. Now let me clear the myth behind it. Cholesterol is an important component of the body. It is present in our blood. It is present in the various body tissues. Normal amount of cholesterol is required for the brain to function, for hormones to develop, for vitamin D and for digestion because it is an important component of bile juice. But as it is said, excess of anything is bad. Same holds true for cholesterol. In moderate or in moderate amount, this is helpful. In excess amount, the cholesterol gets deposited in the blood vessels and it turns out to be a worst enemy of the body. Normal cholesterol is manufactured in the body and addition of cholesterol is done to the body by our food. So our diet contains cholesterol that's called dietary cholesterol which is added to the cholesterol pool of the body. Once we talk about cholesterol, we should know the cholesterol is fat soluble so it cannot circulate in the blood on its own. It needs some support and that support is provided by a component which is called lipoprotein. Lipoprotein has got lipid inside and protein outside. There are two important lipoprotein. One is called LDL. Another is called HDL. That is low density lipoprotein and high density lipoprotein. Cholesterol per se does not produce any symptoms. High cholesterol does not produce any symptoms. That is why we need to check our lipid profile at least once in a year after the age of 35 years. Once we check our lipid profile, the report says the components are number one, the total cholesterol, which should be less than 200. Another is LDL cholesterol which should be less than 100. Then is HDL, the high density lipoprotein, which should be more than 60. Then is triglyceride, which should be less than 150. So these are the normal components of lipid profile. Mind it, I told you the LDL, which is the worst enemy, excess of LDL is the worst enemy and it should be less than 100. But for a diabetics, the range is different. For diabetic, we aim that LDL should be less than 70. Any patient having severe coronary artery disease, heart disease, who is at risk, or anyone who has had a heart attack, the LDL level is aimed to be even less than 50. And at time in severe disease, at time the aim is as low as 30 milligram per cent. Once we talk of HDL, HDL is the healthy cholesterol. H for healthy, H for HDL. Remember it. More the HDL, better it is. HDL cholesterol helps to keep the artery clean. It is a cleansing agent which picks up the cholesterol from inside the blood vessels. The only way to increase HDL cholesterol is by exercise. And any level more than 60 is desirable for HDL and the only way to increase HDL is by increasing physical activity and exercise. So far we have discussed what are the normal components of lipid profile, what are the normal range, how much we should aim for. Now the question is how can we decrease the cholesterol and why should we decrease the cholesterol? As I told you LDL level, if it increases, the excess of LDL cholesterol gets deposited in the blood vessels. If it gets deposited in the blood vessels of heart that produces coronary artery disease in layman language, it's a heart attack which happens. If it gets deposited in the blood vessels supplying blood supply to the brain, you to tend to get stroke or paralytic attack. If it gets deposited in blood vessels of kidney, it produces uncontrolled hypertension. So 
as age advances the cholesterol starts depositing in the blood vessels and the blood vessels they become thick or they become atherosclerotic so here lies the need to keep cholesterol under control not at the age of 30 but from the day the child is born if because it has been seen after the birth of the child the cholesterol starts depositing in the blood vessels so healthy lifestyle has to begin at an early stage how do we take care of excess cholesterol what are the various measures first and most important thing which can never be ignored is the eating habit if i talk of bad cholesterol ldl cholesterol which is present in our diet in saturated as whenever the food is got has got saturated fats what i mean by saturated fats desi ghee butter cream and the hydrogenated fats these are the bad cholesterol fats which is there in the diet so avoid all these bad cholesterol diet the milk which is consumed by majority of indian in huge quantity if it is a full cream milk that is full of cholesterol so preferably one should consume skimmed or low fat milk toned milk or double toned milk lower the fat component in the milk better it is i have seen my patients saying that they buy full cream milk and they add water to it to make the cholesterol level low that is wrong it is not only the fat component which is being diluted by putting water into the milk but it is a protein level the calcium level the good nutrients which are present in the milk they also decrease in quantity once water is added so once i was talking about the bad cholesterol ldl cholesterol and we were discussing about diet i told you to avoid saturated fats if i talk of meat red meat is red meat and organ meat like liver and kidney they are all full of bad cholesterol so these have to be avoided if i talk of eggs it's a yolk which is rich in cholesterol it is not that one should not consume yolk at all but it has to be consumed in moderation say if one is having an egg a day i would say consume 3 to 4 yellow 3 to 4 yolks in a week instead of taking it every day rather i would appreciate if white of the egg is made two per day and yolk is made one per day five days a week that would make a good combination of a cholesterol and the protein component of the food in addition we find that the bad cholesterol is there in all packaged foods food all these packaged food these packets which are fried chips which are fried bujiyas they are all full of bad cholesterol so avoid taking packaged food avoid taking preserved food because that contains lot of ldl all our indian food which is deep fried like tikki like chole bhature samose pakoda kachori they are all fried in deep fried in oil and they are not good for human consumption same holds true for cheese these cheese burgers cheese patties and these pizzas they are loaded with cholesterol so in moderation everything is good in excess everything is bad so if you have to have a pizza have a bite have a small piece instead of having a whole pizza maybe a whole pizza is good for the whole family of four people everybody can have one fourth of pizza and that would not produce guilt in the mind of the patient so saturated fats as i discussed is a bad component now what are the foods which are good for your body it's healthy food like fruits vegetable nuts seeds and uh, legumes dale sprouts and the beans they are rich in fiber they are low in cholesterol they, they form a healthy snack so saturated fat in any form has to be avoided to keep the cholesterol under control now how do we increase hdl as i told you it's a physical activity which is going to help 150 minutes of brisk exercise in a week is adequate to keep your cholesterol level good it is adequate to bring down your ldl level and to increase your hdl level any activity which produce which gives you fun like dancing like cycling like jumping doing aerobic exercise they they are very helpful in bringing down your cholesterol level and keeping the hdl level to a higher level 
So we discuss about diet. Now, what is the second thing which can lead to cholesterol control? It's a physical activity which I discuss. 150 minutes of exercise in a week proves to be beneficial for the body. Third thing which is important is you one must avoid smoking. Not even a puff a day is permissible to anyone on this earth because it is the smoke which is dangerous, which promotes atherosclerosis and it brings down your HDL level. Alcohol has to be taken in moderation. Excess of alcohol again is bad for the body, not only for your liver but also for your cholesterol and it specially increases triglyceride. Once we were talking about the lipid profile, we talked about LDL, HDL cholesterol and the component which we forgot was the triglyceride. Triglyceride is a component which increases very frequently in we Indians because our phenotype is prone to have high triglyceride level and low HDL level. Triglyceride is present in saturated fat, full cream milk and alcohol. So alcohol has to be taken in moderation. So we talked about the lifestyle, we talked about uh, the diet, exercise, we talked about alcohol and smoking. Another important component is the stress level. In this age, there is a lot of stress not only in the mind of elderly people but in youngsters. The stress to succeed, the stress, stress to do well, the stress to earn more and more in less amount of time. So stress has to be taken care of by doing yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises. Not to forget. Sleeping 7 to 8 hours a day is beneficial for the body. It gives rest to your mind, it gives rest to your brain, it gives rest to all the organs and it is, it is a thing which is mandatory to keep you disease free. So lifestyle management and besides your doctor is going to prescribe you a few drugs to bring down your cholesterol level, your LDL level. The most important drug is statin. Do not stop statin on your own without prescription of a doctor. I have seen patients taking statin and then stopping on their own telling the doctor I got my lipids done they were fairly good and I stopped but again when they were rechecked after a period of two to three months you're back to the same condition. You're back to the same condition of high LDL level. So statin may need to be taken at times for lifelong. They are wonderful drug but mind it, use it carefully under doctor prescription. Another drug which is so commonly prescribed by doctors is the phenofibrates which brings down triglyceride level significantly and increases HDL to some extent. So drugs, lifestyle, all these things if they are combined it produces wonderful results, it brings down your cholesterol level, it keeps the arteries clean. There is less deposition of cholesterol, there is less atherosclerosis and hence there is decreased incidence of brain stroke, decreased incidence of heart attacks, decreased incidence of hypertension and all those diseases related to atherosclerosis, the deposition of cholesterol. So my friends, take care of health, be active, play playful, enjoy your life, do some exercise. Do some activities with the family like walking, like running, like jogging, gardening, swimming, cycling so that it keeps your heart healthy and take care. Thank you very much.